and welcome again to Island Mama. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification button and follow me for more videos. Today I want to say happy Valentine's to each and every one of you and welcome again. We are going to do a Valentine's surprise. Yes, you can surprise your loved one by making stuff, not only by buying stuff. So, you know, it's always fun. Even if you do it as a couple, it's always a good idea to do couples um, things like cooking and making treats and even setting the table. It's, you know, it helps promote love. That's what it's all about. So let's get started. We are going to dip our strawberries in chocolate. We have marshmallows and let's see where this goes. Let's go. So today I'm using dark chocolate and before I put it in the microwave, I'm going to break it up into smaller pieces so that will make sure that the melting process is easier. Let's go. And did you know that chocolate has a natural fat called cocoa butter and it melts fairly easy in our hands. So you know what, we got to keep our eyes on this microwave. I must say this though, that dark chocolate has less fat. So what I actually did was to drizzle some oil on it and then slip it in the microwave for 30 seconds. I removed it and turned it. Don't worry if you see lumps in it because it is going to continue the melting process because the bowl is hot. In all, this process of melting in a microwave, this chocolate, dark chocolate in particular, should take around 45 to 50 seconds. And for sure, I'm going to support your sweet tooth, but in a healthy way. I'm using a keto-friendly sugar or sweetener called monk fruit. It actually does not spike your insulin, so it's pretty safe to eat. The rest is all up to you now. So just roll it in your favorite toppings. Let's go. There are many options out there for your presentation, but the classic is always just a simple drizzle of chocolate on the raw, sweet, juicy strawberries. And for the remainder of chocolate, if you have any at all, I made some candy. So, two teaspoons of cream of tartar to half a cup of melted chocolate. And here you go. 